The Beating Retreat. A musical dream. Every year, on the 29th of January, musicians from the three military services perform together to mark the end of Republic Day celebrations in India. The Beating Retreat is always performed at sundown. This colorful ceremony is symbolic of an old tradition when drummers would sound the call for troops to disengage from combat as light faded. The beating retreat was one of the earliest ceremonies to be instituted in the army. The origin of this ceremony lies somewhere around the 15th century. The concept of martial music is even more deeply rooted in Indian scriptures. Bharat Muni, a primeval Indian sage, has described the essential qualities of martial music in his Sanskrit treatise on music, titled Natya Shastra. Bharat Mata Ki Jai! Bharat Mata Ki Jai! Jai! It seems just like their instruments. These musicians are all tuned to one pitch. <laughs> Back at their bases, it is a strict regimen of scheduled practice with the entire band and many more hours of individual practice and effort. Conductor doesn't speak. He he shows only indications, and that indications musician knows. The importance of practice can't be stressed enough. Practice to play the correct notes in the correct tempo. Practice to evoke emotions. This is the first page. We are prepared for the formation. This is the second formation. From the lineup, we are forming the heart shape. Bagpipes have a special place in the military band. These instruments, in existence for over 3,000 years, are capable of creating a colorful, rustic ambiance. Tubular bells are also used specifically in the Indian beating retreat for playing the hymn Abide With Me, composed by William Henry Monk, a great favorite of Mahatma Gandhi. The beating retreat in India is performed at Vijay Chowk, flanked by the north and south blocks of the Indian Parliament House and the Raisina Hills. 